Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November Julian here for Off Grid Ham Radio. Today we're going to do a very quick tutorial on connecting two 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries together. It's the same process for lead acid batteries or lithium batteries. We're just doing a parallel connection of two batteries to increase capacity. We're going to use two jumpers to connect positive to positive, negative to negative. This is going to give us 100 amp hours plus 100 amp hours for 200 amp hours, but the voltage, 12.8 volts nominal, is going to stay the same. So I've got a couple of jumpers. We're going to put a jumper across the positive leads. That's a six gauge jumper. It's quite big, but we want to be sure that we use jumpers which can handle the amperage of the battery pack. So we've got two jumpers. I've got them denoted as a red jumper and a black jumper for positive and negative. And then I've got another connection, which I'll use to connect up the solar charge controllers, but I'll also use this to check the voltage across the battery pack with my voltmeter or a multimeter sometimes. Now finally, we're going to have the discharge connection. Sorry, the positive side of the discharge cable is going to go to the positive lead of the first battery and the negative lead of the second battery. This will make sure we're going to discharge both batteries evenly. I hope that makes sense. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is take all the positive leads, including the jumper. I'm going to place them on the mounting screw, making sure all of them are the correct positive leads, and the jumper. Then I'm going to hand tighten that on the battery terminal. Now I'm going to connect up the positive battery terminal for the second pack. There's only the one lead, that jumper cable, on the second pack. The next thing we're going to do is take our negative battery terminal and we're going to connect that to the second battery terminal. The negative battery terminal along with the charge controller cabling and our discharge cable onto the second battery. Before we connect that negative battery terminal to make the parallel connection, let's just make sure our voltage here, we got 14 volts, 13.5 on the other, that's quite close enough. We're going to take our screw and our terminal, plug it in, and tighten that down. Hand tight. Now we'll go ahead and make our connections a little bit tighter. Start with the second positive terminal. Okay. And then on the first battery, the negative terminal. And then on the first battery, positive terminal. And finally, on the second battery, our negative terminal. There. Now these batteries are connected together. 
if we check again with our multimeter, let's put our positive lead on the first battery positive terminal and our negative lead on the second battery negative terminal. Now we have 13.7 volts across both batteries. If I put this on the first battery negative terminal, we still have 13.7 volts. If I put it across the second battery terminals, we still have 13.7 volts. Now when I connect the charge controllers from our solar panels, we'll be charging both batteries as if they are one integrated battery. 200 amp hour, 12.8 volts nominal voltage. It's that simple guys. We'll do another video on connecting up the charge controllers in parallel for these batteries. Alright guys. So guys, as you see, putting batteries in parallel is actually incredibly simple, but here's a couple of more tips for you. Never put batteries in parallel that are different voltages or have different capacities. We want to use batteries in parallel which are basically identical. That'll keep things simple and it'll keep things safe. Now, many of you know I've been sick with coronavirus for about a month now and I'm just getting back to work, but that doesn't mean that I haven't done something. I've done a little work while I've been away. Uh, check out oh8stn.org. I'll leave links in the description. There's a few posts there that are related to these Power Queen batteries and putting batteries in parallel. There's the Building an Off-Grid Ham Shack for Beginners post, which really breaks down the process of all the components and uh, how to put them together. There's another post called uh, Radio-Friendly MPPT Charge Controllers for Off-Grid Ham Radio. That's another good post where we discuss Guinnesson charge controllers for off-grid comms. There's also a post up on oh8stn.org about current consumption and its relevance to uh, operating a solar-powered ham radio station off-grid. So please take a look at those while you wait for the next video. Anyway, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, please let me know by leaving me a comment, a thumbs up, or even a super thanks. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys, as always. You're absolutely awesome. Thanks for watching. Ciao.